we were always trying to find some kind of uh, mnemonics that the people who were going through the institute would remember, that they would carry with them even when they couldn't remember the ar article about such and such. And that's a mnemonic, okay? Nobody who has heard that and had it blown at them ever forgets it. And there were others as well, but, but that was part of, um, um, I mean, we worked like the dickens on these institutes. Um, they were very, very, very conscious, um, very, very carefully plotted um, scenarios that we would test out and we you, tried on ourselves. We worked very, very hard at that, and we worked very hard to make sure that it didn't look like that. And this is part of that, that, that element of fantasy that we were trying to include. The first institute I, I was a participant in was in 1986. And that was the last year participants at the institute had roommates. Now can you imagine going you know, through a day at the Institute and going back and having a roommate? So fortunately after that time we were able to, to have single rooms. Yes, how could anyone forget that? Particularly since the, always the mystery, and it continues to be, that make sure you wear warm socks. Uh, and, you know, that was something that everyone was whispering and weren't quite, quite you know, uh, interested in finding out more, more about. So the one that I took home with me uh, the most was the exercise where we had um, different levels of top, middle, and bottom. And the thing that was most interesting to me, because I got to be a bottom, was how frustrating it was when you never got to finish anything. And I recognized that one of the groups that worked with, worked for me, um, fortunately I didn't think I was doing it directly myself, but I went back and I talked to that manager and I said, you really need to let people have a sense of accomplishment and let them finish things. And so it actually I took it home. The experiential activity that we did where we were all uh, put into different classes and and had to work and interact and, and different situations were presented to us and we had to respond uh, given the the value of life or value of society we had been assigned and that was a real eye-opener in terms of how you're treated how you treat people because it caused us to get outside of our normal walk and our normal role and it was a real eye-opener on human behavior and very valuable. That's a hard exercise in a way. I always tell the facilitators that they're earning every penny of the money they don't make um, but when they process that exercise because it is so hard to get people, the participants, off. Well, that wouldn't happen in, a, in my situation or I don't like the exercise. And to get them on to what did you learn from it? What are your hooks? What did this tell you? Um, about how you work in an organization and how others work. That role, and I first did it when I was still a graduate student, that allowed me to meet 40 people a year and get to know them pretty darn well in a way that the participants didn't get to because I got to spend the entire week 
with these 40 people and I call those my three o'clock in the morning people. Those are people that after a week at the Institute, if I had to call them at three o'clock, I'm pretty sure they would take the call. And that's the kind of relationships that I was able to build up and that served me very, very well. And we looked at it as one letting us find prospective new leaders, causing our current leaders to be better leaders, and also really creating a personal relationship amongst rising stars or potential stars on all the different campuses and institutes. Because quite often those people wouldn't see each other, they wouldn't know each other. But if you came and spent a week at the Leadership Institute listening to people, visiting with people, uh, talking, drinking, interacting, laughing, joking, and hearing presentations, by golly, uh, the, a faculty leader on the Knoxville campus would get to know a faculty leader on the Memphis campus, and a Memphis administrator would get to know a Martin administrator, and all of a sudden, we had a, we had a much, we had more of a family. That was sort of an outgrowth. I'm not sure that was what we planned, but that was an outgrowth. A lot of people got to know each other, and you also got to learn by interacting with leaders and potential leaders on other campuses. My issues and frustrations are not unique. Once I got there, though, uh, the benefits were very evident. Um, people I would never have met, I got to know quite well. Colleagues uh, that we wrote grants together later on. Um, Pat Sobero was in my small group that I was in, and we had some similar interests. She was at the Ag Institute, and we wound up with three half million dollar, one uh, five hundred thousand dollar grants from the Department of uh, U.S. Department of uh, Agriculture because we had the play, time and place to sit down and talk. I think it provides an opportunity that nothing else does in our environment. Uh, a chance for leaders or potential leaders to get together, to spend some time together, get to know each other, um, to share information and to find out what's going on at other parts of the university. And that's very hard to do when you're spread out across a, a, a state like Tennessee and have multiple campuses. So um, I think that is one of the big assets of having a program like this. Well, we of course had the best small group. <laughs> and I'm, perhaps some of the others felt the same way. It was across the system. These were people that I had never met before and um, different levels of people. So some of them had more, were currently managing larger groups than others. Um, and yes, in fact, I saw one in the office today that I went and gave a hug to. Uh, who's actually working with the president, sort of helping to manage all the events uh, that the president's office has to has to handle. So um, I don't get to see them often, but uh, there's sort of there's a bond, I think, and I think that's one of the nice things that it does give you a chance to meet people across campuses because you don't get out of your own little territory that as often as you should. So I've been a student of leadership. I read leadership books all the time. Um, you know, and I, th I think it's important to realize we wouldn't put somebody in a classroom or we wouldn't put a technician in a laboratory if they didn't have the proper training. Sometimes we put people into leadership roles and they're there because they were successful in their previous career, but they need to be maximally successful. We need to train them up like you would a physicist, like you would a microbiologist. Uh, but in leadership skills so they can be most effective. That's the beauty of this institute. Mm -hmm.